Hi everybody. Just going to do a towel sample. I'm going to lay down my butcher paper on the bottom. I have a different towel today. Oh, hold on one second. I have a different towel today. This one measures 11 by 18. It's dual sided. It's a micro fleece, beautiful soft micro fleece top to accept sublimation. Beautiful edging. Beautiful edging all around. And the back reverses to 100% cotton terry cloth loop, which is not printable but has a great absorbency, and so does the micro fleece. So, let's lay this out. Let's roll it with our lint roller. Be mindful of which way the nap is laying. Because you can see if you brush one way or the other, it goes opposite. So this way is the opposite. We don't want that. We want to pull it down towards us. And you can see the difference. It's much smoother. Wow. That's some good lint roller. Just going to roll the edges a little bit. I want to pull it down with my hands. Just to make sure that the nap is nice and smooth. And you can see how ultra smooth this is. It is ultra smooth. Okay. Get back to our camera woman, Carrie Hope. I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper for my cover. Sorry. To protect. It's okay. To protect the towel from the top platen and also protect the top platen for any blow outings or dyes that we might have. I haven't adjusted anything, but I have it set at 380. It's at 378 and for a minute. Um, let's see what our pressure is during our pre-press. Oh, that seems like it's good. It's a 3 on my meter, and you can see how loose it's not too tight on the fingers. So you could tell, guys. So I know not everybody has a meter, or a gauge rather. Let's pull this down a little bit. Okay. I printed this out just a little small. I made this 12 by 18, and I should have done a 12 by 19. Hope you guys can forgive me on that one. No Pro Spray? I want to just... No, I'm actually not going to use Pro Spray. And the only reason is, is because I didn't print it out big enough. And I want to make sure that I line it up at least close to... There we go. Okay. I'm assuming, okay, I'm at my edge all around here, left and right. Mm -hmm. Here too, I can actually come over just a hair. Okay. So we'll check this side. Oh, I have plenty of room, folks. Wow. Okay, left and right, I have plenty of room. Just make sure that we're square. And the top is what I've got to be mindful of because I printed it out the exact same length. I didn't leave a bleed. So I'm going to have to trust my judgment to hopefully get it close. Because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to get a little bit of a white line on the back end because I didn't make my imprint big enough. Take 
in a fresh piece. So. What's your pretty book? Not for me, I'll just use the other one. Uh, I don't know. No, no, no reason. Uh huh. Okay. It's a waste of paper. Yes, it is. Don't tell Teresa. She's going to see. Yes, yeah, she will. Okay, I'm going to go for one minute, and I'm doing 376 degrees, which is a little cool. Um, it should have been at least 380, I think. But I didn't, you know, I'm just winging it, folks. I didn't actually check the directions from our factory to manufacturer. And I'm just assuming this is the correct setting. Okay. I just have the press in my view. Hmm? I just have the press in the view. Okay. That's beautiful. Just show you. My daughter's working on. A sample Christmas balls already. Some vinyl to put on her balls. There's my hat press. Wade, check it out, Wade. And we're just about at our minute. Oh, I hope I did it right. Okay. Our moment of truth. So, you know, if I didn't do this right, oh, I don't have another sample. The image is on the paper. I guess I did it right. Wow. Okay, folks. These towels are just beautiful. The edges sub very beautifully. Soft. Yeah, very like soft. That. Very soft. And you can see that's where I messed up with the line because I didn't make my, my image with a bleed, as you can see on my paper, my own fault. But I did catch part of it here and it was crooked. Just want to show you how beautiful that if you make it the right size, unlike myself, how beautiful full bleed would come out. Yep, Isn't that beautiful? This is Lindy Park right near my house. It's the Verrazano Narrows Bridge at a sunset. And even the sand, it looks like it's reflective. This is gorgeous, folks. And the other side reverses to 100% cotton terry cloth. 100% cotton terry cloth. Super plush. Super soft. You guys are going to love it. Okay. Speak to you later. Bye bye. I didn't realize how fun